welcome to our third day of Forget Me Not Iris Week. So far, you've seen my mustard yellow short pleated sleeve tee and my charcoal gray swing dress pattern hack with the three quarter inch, or I'm sorry, three quarter length pleated sleeve. Today, I've got something really fun. I'm so excited to show you, but first, I need to say that if you want to learn more about the base pattern that I'm using, the Iris Tee from Forget Me Not Patterns, be sure to check out those other two videos. I've got links in the description box to both of them. But basically, the Iris Tee is a basic women's tee with four sleeve options and a crew neck. So, without further ado, the next version I made using the Iris T is something that's a little simpler on top, but a lot of fun at the hem. This is my new tie front tee. So, I kept everything the same from the neck to the waist. I opted to use the plain short sleeve since I knew there would be a lot going on at the hem. But afterwards, I realized it would also be super cute and such an easy hack to have converted the sleeve bands into little ties too to kind of like tie in, no pun intended, with the hem. I just didn't think of that in time, but there will be many more of these tees, so I'll be sure to do that for my next one. All right, so for the hem, how in the world do you do this? You guys, this is such an easy hack. Basically, you just draw in a tie shape to your hemline on the front pattern piece and then fold up the raw edges and hem it like you usually would. Again, I used a tutorial from Seamwork Magazine's Block Paper Scissors series, which made visualizing what the tie should look like super easy. If I could do it again, I probably would have shortened the bodice of the tee by like an inch or so just to reduce some of the bulk at the hip line. You know, whenever you pull those ties in, it kind of bunches up a little bit. So I might reduce um, a little bit of that next time in the link. And I'd probably also convert the tip of the tie into more of a round shape just so it would be easier to sew and it would be a prettier finish than this like hard point that I've got now. But other than those seriously minor things, this hack is good to go and I cannot wait to make more. Okay, for the fabric, as I've told you in previous videos, all of the fabrics that I'm using for these hacks are similar but different. They are all some version of a cotton jersey. Uh, this one happens to be the lightest weight of all the fabrics I'm using this week. It's also got a little bit of lycra spandex in it, making it super silky soft. It has 25% four-way stretch, which is what makes it ideal for that tie front top. In addition to the 4% spandex, the rest of it is made with cotton though, which helps it maintain its shape and gives it wonderful body. It almost feels like one of those like moisture wicking fabrics you find in workout clothes. It's like structured, but smooth. From what I can tell, it is available in 14 different colors, although all of those colors might not be available right now. The one I'm wearing is called Jade and it is temporarily out of stock, but the teal would be equally as beautiful and maybe more suitable for fall since it's not as bright as the Jade is. Again, just like the other irises I've shown you this week, this top has been washed twice, once as a pre-wash before I cut the fabric and again after the entire top was sewn. So what you see here is what you can expect in terms of pilling and fuzz. It's still really smooth and the color is still so vibrant. This fabric is really wonderful for long lasting tees. I've paired my tie front tee with some white Coldwater Creek non-stretch jeans that I got new with tags from Goodwill. I threw on some fun drop earrings that I've had for a while and my silver slip-ons from where else? Target. So what do you think? 
If you can't tell, this is one of my favorite makes from the week, but I have saved the best for last. So be sure to come back tomorrow to see the last and final garment I made for Iris Week. You are going to love it. But that is going to do it for me today. Be sure to check the description box for all the links to all the things. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.